Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. This is just going to be a uh, quick little Friday update here for you. We've had a lot going on this week. But anyway, there's not a whole lot of new tools. We did get some, just some uh, drill bits and some uh, half 20 threaded studs. And we got a OSG half 20 spiral fluted tap. These are super nice. And that's just for some of my handle work that I've got to do. We also picked up some huge wrenches off my buddy Tony. Found him in his shed. I'm always digging at his place. But we've got us a nice, uh, one's a Williams, one's a uh, Black Hawk, and one's a Proto. Two inch, two and a quarter, two and three sixteenths. We'll use the two inch one on our uh, on our grinder, changing wheels, but anything else we want. Also got some of these Blue Demon um, brazing rods. About five pounds of eighth inch and one pound of uh, uh, three sixteenths. Oops, I really like these. These they work really well. I've been using some cheap ones. About time I got me my stack built up on some better quality ones. And really the only other thing we got is, as you see, a new milling machine. We got us a Series 1 2 horsepower bridge port with the power draw bar with a DRO also that's uh the screen is taken off right now so I don't break it got some jaws we got a heat treat we got rid of the XLO we sold it thankfully it's gone and I don't have to worry about it Tony threw in a set of collets here like I said I bought this off of him I'll be showing you a uh, if you haven't seen it on the short, I'll be showing you how we got this thing off his trailer. We also picked this up. It's a, uh, it's a Quill DRO. It'll go right here. I'm sure you've seen those before. We got to install that sometime. One day. Once this thing gets moved, And we're going to be moving it over here. So, as you see, there's all kinds of empty space in the shop now. I know it doesn't really look like it, but trust me, this is nice for what we're usually working with. Here's the path we're going to be taking this machine through. The do-all, big vertical do-all, is going to be sitting right about here, forward a little bit. The old welding table, if we keep it, is going to be back towards the, the fridge. And here's the plan for the bridge port. I'm going to raise the table as high as it'll go. We're going to dodge my air contraption here. Somehow, we're going to run both of these tables as far as they will go and drop them as low as they'll go. The uh, Cincinnati grinder is taking place of the standard grinder. The surface grinder is coming here and it's going to be on the back side of the do all, the vertical uh, bandsaw. Drill press is going to be right here. Welding cart is going to be, hold up, oh no, anyway guys, sorry about that, so ignore the mess here, Cincinnati grinder, drill press, surface grinder, all coming over here, toolbox is going to be scooted over, the milling machine, we're going to hopefully get right through here without moving either of these machines, it's going to be close. 
Might have to take this board down, probably. This is just where my uh, air manifold is. Yeah, but that's the, that's the plan for now. We're gonna have an area over here for cutting and grinding. We've got an air leak. Anyway, area for cutting and grinding and an area for milling and lathe work. So I haven't gotten a second lathe yet, but if I do, it'll have to come over here. So hopefully that's coming soon. Anyway, this is a very short Friday. Anyway, now that you've seen that, this grinder we're actually keeping. I'm gonna be making a table for it and we're gonna be taking that big goofy uh, piece of wood off there because it runs perfectly. It's a one horsepower uh, Porter Cable G4. So that's gonna be a really nice belt grinder. We're gonna be putting it over there where the welding cart is with the torch cart. That one might be getting sold, that belt grinder. Not sure yet. Welding cart and acetylene and the drill press all have to come into this area right here. Right here. Somehow. Might be taking my blast cabinet, I did move it. Might be taking it out and moving it up to the barn. Um, can't really see these cabinets right now. These file cabinets might be going up in the loft with all, there's all kinds of stuff up there. So those might be going up there because I don't use them very much. This uh, black shelf is probably going right here. So just a lot of moving around today. I'm trying to take it really easy today. I'm going to try to move some things around. And the shop is a disaster yet again. We've got a couple more customer jobs. I did finish this nut up, which I'm working on a small video that I'm editing. Let's see if you can see this good. So I finished this braze repair up. It's not the prettiest thing in the world. I didn't get the bronze wet enough to flow on the bottom. The sides look okay. I believe our strength is there, we're just not very pretty. We couldn't grind all the old weld out because there wasn't enough material after that was gone. We had less than a hundred thou worth of uh, cast material that were holding these two pieces together. The rest was weld. So I had to leave a bit of that weld. So we've fused three different types of material here. I'm pretty happy with the results. See how it works for the customer. Working on quite a few jobs right now. Uh, the video editing is almost at a standstill, and I'm sorry for that. I'm trying, trying my best to get everything done. But we had a customer that ordered a handle. It was 520 thou. He mistakenly took his old handle and just measured it and told me the dimensions to make, but he didn't account for this hole being, uh, you know, out around. So his new handle, unfortunately, still has some slop in it. So he's going to use it for another vise. He sent me the spindle to repair here. We're going to be boring this out to five eighths to make him a perfect circle again, fitting him a tight handle in this. Not sure what vise this comes out of, but. Pretty nice looking spindle. So that's the only other job we've gotten in in the last uh, couple days. Well, all week really, besides orders. Um, did a couple resurfacing jobs. I'll show one of those one day. It's pretty, pretty simple, pretty boring. But anyway, guys, I'm gonna get some of this uh, machinery moved and try to figure out where it can all go. But this new, um, but this new milling machine here is pretty nice. I paid a buddy to come over and uh, clean it for me. And as you see, he stopped about 80% of the way done. So we've got to finish cleaning the, the bottom. 
And if you're watching this, I'm still disappointed. But he lettered the uh, bridge port here. I thought that'd be pretty cool. I told him to go ahead. And this machine runs great. There's not a thing wrong with it. The head makes no noise at all. So we're gonna get our DRO installed on the quill. We're gonna buy a knee DRO yet again, which is a real pain to put on. Maybe I'll film it this time. We've got a servo brand uh, power feed on here. Works great. Everything about this machine is tight. It is well taken care of, very well taken care of. So I'm just really, really happy to have this one. And I, like I said, it's got an X and Y scale DRO. Here's the handle for it if you don't, or the monitor support for it, if you don't believe me. This is gonna be a fine machine right here, and this one is gonna be used for doing serrations while I rebuild that bridge port. So that will be coming soon on a video. I've got the uh, head, I've got the bearings for the spindle rebuild and we might even be taking the table off and rebuilding the uh, xy nut both so i'm not 100 percent sure on the table nuts yet but we're definitely rebuilding the head on that machine and hopefully we don't run into any issues on that this one's going to be great i can't figure out what year it's from i've looked up all the serial numbers if you uh if you know anything about what i might be doing wrong I read the serial number here on the knee. I also tried this one. I also tried the one on the tag. I have no idea. My other one's from 66. I would like to know when this one was built, just out of sheer curiosity. But anyway, guys, I'm gonna get some of these machines moved around, some of the crap picked up. That way we can hit it hard Saturday and Sunday. And we're all up to 737 subscribers as of today. So I really thank you all for the support. I'm glad people are enjoying watching me, even though I'm putting out very little content right now. I am working on some. Please bear with me there. I will get some of that going. So we're going to be, the next few things you'll be seeing is a, a spindle repair, this uh, nut brazing repair that, that I just showed you. Um, Bridgeport rebuild will be a little ways down the road, but very soon. The Columbian, we've got three Columbian vices that all need rebuilt and uh, pallet, crated and palleted and shipped out of here. So you'll be seeing some of that. And I'm exhausted. I'm going to work around here for about 30 more minutes and get in the house. And thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. And share this with your friends if you want. Leave some comments on here and tell me what you want to see, any questions you might have. and. I'll catch you all next time. Thanks.